Hi everyone! Okay, so this video is, you see my background is obviously very different. I am over at my boyfriend's house, boyfriend's parents' house, where he currently lives now until he buys his own place. The reason I'm doing this is because I just finished my book. Christopher's Diary, Echoes of a Dollenganger by V.C. Erringers. This is book two in Christopher's Diary series. There's only two books in it. I just finished it like two seconds ago, basically. And the ending, it's just like totally shockingly amazing. Like, oh my god, oh my god, it's like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. like, fuck. It's just incredibly amazing ending to it. At first, I, when I first started reading the series, it was just like, I thought it would just, you know, tell like the whole point of view of Christopher's side. Like, because we start when he, he's currently at his original house with his pa both his parents, Corrine and Christopher Foxworth, who are actually Corrine and Christopher Dollinganger after that. Um, and then his father dies, and they go to live at Foxworth Hall, and then they leave to live with do that doctor, and then they come back. And I thought it would tell the whole story, but no, it just this just tells of their time in Foxworth Hall when they lived in the attic for three years, or at least close to three years, roughly. And oh my god, like it just the ending is making me feel so incredibly amazed. It, that's just still stuck in my head since I did basically finish it a minute, two minutes ago, according to the video. The one kind of disappointing thing about the two books, there wasn't really anything shocking like the other books in by V.C. V.C. Andrews. All of her books, at least all the books I've read, and like the first bunch of series that are five books, five, like all of the books I have are a five book series, 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 seriously, a five book series. There is one four book series and then one three book series and all the rest, they're the new ones that have come out. They're only two books or, you know, like three books. Like that's not the VC injury series. The VC injury series are at least five books. And then I have one of, I have her first standalone novel as well. But uh, Flowers in the Attic, or the Dollinganger series, family series, is like her first family series. And uh, with this, there wasn't any psych there wasn't any like psychological suspense or like shocking things that happened in here. Like obviously, you're reading Christopher's diary of his time, of uh, when he was a young boy with his parents, to the point where him and his two sisters two younger sisters escape from Foxworth Hall. That is basically what we read. And I already kind of knew, and even reading that wasn't all that psychologically messed up. And um, reading uh, Kristen Masterwood, who is like the person reading Christopher's diary and her boyfriend Kane Hill, there's nothing really psychological going on. So that was a little disappointing. And, um, you do get to really like Kane Hill, but there's a point in this book, not in the first book, because he doesn't start reading the book with her until this book, um, but there's a part in this book that he kind of basically turns into an ass, but it's not for long, don't worry. And I don't mean to give that spoiler away, but it's, it's part of my review, and it's something I didn't like about the book, but, so... You gotta say it. Um, is there anything else I can say about this? Uh, 
well, the end, the ending of this book, like the epilogue, it just, oh my gosh, it's a shocking and such a ha basically happy ending to find out. You, those of you who love the Flowers in the Attic, Dawn Ganger family series, will absolutely love this addition to the series. Even though, as I've shown you, it's te technically not part of it, because it's right here. And, yet, yeah. Dawn Ganger is all the way over here. I don't know why they're not putting it together, but when you, if you buy it or basically own it, you should definitely put it. If you do like in an organizing sense, do put this in with all with the Dollinganger collection because it does. It's all about the Dollinganger family, Dollinganger Foxworth family. You. I cannot emphasize how much I love the ending. Like, I thought it would be like kind of almost like another like sad ending, like most of the books. But this is like one of the most happiest endings that I've read in like uh, VC Andrew psychological shocker books. And I can't wait to own it, and I can't, also can't wait to reread the Dollinganger family series. Like, even, um, Olivia Foxworth, like, she's the last book, like, she's, her book is actually the prequel to the entire series, because she's a grandmother. Oh my gosh. So, def- freaking definitely read this book series, like, these two books, and- We'll just basically read all of the Dollinger series books. Like, um, Flowers in the Attic, Petals on the Wind, If There Be Thorns, Seeds of Yesterday, um, Garden of Shadows, Echoes of a Dollinger, well, hold on, Secrets of a Foxworth, and then Echoes of a Dollinger. Uh, like, that's the original print series, but you can read it as Garden of Shadows. Flowers in the Attic, Petal on the Wind, Seeds of Yesterday, um, it, and If There Be Thorns, then Seeds of Yesterday, then Secrets of Foxworth, Echoes of a Dollinger. You could read it that way. Like, if you have read the Dollinger series, you have to read these two books, and you have to get to the end of this book especially, because you... <sighs> this family basically finally has a happy ending. I know that is a bit of a spoiler, but I'm not telling you what the happy ending is, because, oh my god, oh my gosh. Like, as I was reading the epilogue and that lit the part, it's just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is, this is, this is getting me excited, this is getting me happy. Like, even before I found out the ending of this book, like, when I was reading it, it's just like, this, it felt like I was going to be like, something good was happening. Oh my gosh. I I just want to say more, but it's like, I can't, I can't spoil it. It's so good. It makes me so happy. Just, oh my god. Oh my god. So, okay. Oh my gosh. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Okay. Read, read it, read it, just read it, just read it. All I can say is just read it. Oh my gosh. I need to stop talking about it, because I just... Holy fucking crap. I love this so much. Like, again, it's like... It's almost like I don't care what's happening to Kristen. Except right now, at the end of the book. I really don't care what was happening at the beginning. Like, the, be the first book, I don't really care uh, what happened here, before the epilogue. The only thing I really care about this is the epilogue. The epilogue is the only important thing. But don't... <sighs> Sorry, excuse me. Something happened last... Something happened last night, and I... I'm not... My stomach is not feeling the greatest, nor is my throat. So... But anyway. Don't skip ahead to the epilogue. Read... 
you know, like, Secrets of Foxworth and Echoes of a Doll and Ganger, like, all the way through. Because it helps to build up to, like, the amazing part of the epilogue. And you can even, re like, read or reread, if you've already read it previously, the, um, the five, the five, the five previous books, too. Secrets of Foxworth and Echoes of Dollinger. So, yeah. Please read it. It is so freaking amazing. That's, I, I, I can't say any more because I'm basically repeating myself and getting so excited. So, yes. This book. The series. Yes. And I'm just finishing this book, so I, um... I might get another book review in while I'm here at Manny's house, or I might just save, I don't know, the rest of this and finish it tomorrow so that I can do a video and not be worried about people walking in or have not having enough time to just sit here and ha and do like another 10 minute video basically or 15 minutes depending on what I want to say for this book and all that but this is going to be my next book review yes I'm still reading Glinda of Oz by L. Frank Baum illustrated by John R. Neal. I'm going to read the, um, the little things here because um, I didn't read it to you before so I'm going to read this right now and this here says forbidden fantasy. I led the way to the attic stair uh, when we crud when we reached the door I hesitated it was simply a door to an attic. It was a door to... It wasn't simply a door to an attic. It was a door to the past. When I stepped in, I paused, as if expecting to see the four Dollinganger children waiting for us. Perfect, Kane whispered, coming up beside me. There's furniture and old things. It really is a miniature Foxworth. And as Kane began to read aloud from Christopher's diary, I could feel myself slipping out of this world into theirs. One afternoon, while the, the, while the twins were napping, Kathy and I lay together on the old stained mattress by the attic window and had one of the most intimate conversations between us. We talked openly about how each of us was changing with every passing day. I was sure that the honesty we shared made us closer than most brothers and sisters. I pressed my face to her hair and assured her that what was happening to her and to me was right and good and nothing to be ashamed of. We clung to each other silently, as if the whole world swirled around us and we had no place else to go to be safe but into each other's arms. The flowers in the attic haunt a new generation. The discovery of Christopher Dollinganger's diary in the ashes of Foxworth Hall, where he and his siblings were kept prisoner, dec prisoner decades ago, now captivates one young girl's imagination and sparks a dangerously forbidden passion. Christopher Christopher's Diary, Echoes of a Dollinganger. Kristen Masterwork. Oh, wow. Kristen Masterwood's mother was distantly related to the, to the notorious Foxworth family, but she died when Kristen was a child, leaving her daughter to wonder how the ancestral link might affect her. Now that Kristen, now that Kristen is the sole possessor of Christopher's Diary, his account of what really happened in the attic of the once lavish estate has her enthralled. Watching Christopher and his sisters, Ka sister Kathy's forbidden love as it comes to life through the entries in the faded diary is overwhelming and his shocking revelations about the family are more potent than she ever could have imagined. But soon, simply reading about the pair was not enough. Kristen wants to experience the same all-consuming passion herself. And when her boyfriend, Kane Hill urges to give in to the desires, as tempting and dangerous as those depicted in Christopher's Attic World, by reenacting the diary's most daring scenes in a secret hidden in a secret hideaway, sorry, of their own, the twisted truth about the Dollinganger becomes Kristen's own burning obsession. 
And truth be told, it's not really an obsession. It's actually her boyfriend's obsession, basically. When you read it, it it's not... Okay, that is really his obsession now. It's like... He's starting to obsess about it a little bit. But she is a ve- like she's so concerned about what's ha- what happens to them, what happens to her, what's like affecting her and Kane, and how even the knowledge of her reading it by like her father knows she's reading it is affecting her- their relationship to each other and how he feels about it and how he feels about her reading it. So I'm gonna end it here because Manny probably is. Maybe close to finish with a shower, and I don't want him walking in on this video. At least not yet. I don't want you to see him yet. I haven't even asked him if he wants to be on any videos. Or if he's ready. Anyway. So, I just finished this. I will read this a little more. And, hold on. After I finish this, I'm starting this book, or relatively I'm going to be starting this book today, tomorrow-ish. Um, I do have a book at the library so I probably will start this but I will be doing a book review on the book that I have on hold at the library first because these books have a due date this which I own doesn't really have a due date that's what's happening and I'm gonna end it here because I I don't know I need to end it all right so bye guys <laughs>